Submarines. Large, powerful, underwater vessels that can explore below our ocean surface. We rely on them for many things, yet most people seem to know so little about them. In this video, we will cover 10 interesting facts about submarines. Number 10. The first known military submarine was built in 1775, named Turtle. It was built and designed by American inventor David Bushnell for use against British warships. It held one person and was controlled underwater independently. This one-man submarine, made of oak and iron bands, measured about seven and a half feet in length and six feet wide. It was equipped with a mine that was able to attach to the hull of an enemy ship. During the Revolutionary War, Turtle attempted to attach this time bomb to the hull of British Admiral Richard Howe's flagship HMS Eagle in New York Harbor, but the mission was unsuccessful. Number 9. How long can a submarine stay underwater? There are small submarines that can stay underwater for a couple of hours or so, but there are also huge submarines as well. One of the biggest ever made is a Russian Typhoon class. They can stay underwater for up to six months. However, HMS Artful of the British Royal Navy can stay underwater for up to 25 years without resurfacing. Its nuclear reactor only needs to be serviced once per quarter century, and the submarine can produce breathable air and water from the sea around it. The crew just has to remember to pack a lot of supplies. The 320-foot, 7,400-ton submarine made by British defense firm BAE Systems displaces as much water as 65 blue whales and can circumnavigate the world without resurfacing. Number 8. Submarines are the USA's most economy-friendly weapon. Compromising only 1.6% of the Navy's World War II personnel, the submarine service accounted for 55% of all enemy shipping destroyed. While the average cost of a US submarine was only about $3 million at the time. In contrast, the US Navy's new fleet of nuclear submarines carry an eye-watering $100 billion price tag. The Columbia class nuclear submarine fleet, which is currently under development, is set to enter service in 2031 and serve until 2085. The 12 submarines, carrying 16 Trident nuclear missiles each, will replace the Navy's 14 aging Ohio-class vessels. The Ohio fleet will be decommissioned at a rate of one vessel per year from 2027. Number 7. How deep can you go in a submarine? For military submarines, the test depth, the deepest a submarine can repeatedly go, is classified. It is generally accepted that the maximum depth or depth of implosion or collapse is about one and a half or two times deeper. The latest open literature says that US Los Angeles class test depths are 1500 feet, suggesting a maximum depth of 2500 to 3000 feet. This is a submarine with pressure hole made of HY-80 high tensile steel. The latest American submarine is said to be constructed of HY-100, so they can certainly go deeper. Some Soviet and Russian submarines use titanium, which is stronger but more brittle than steel. The first one, Project 705 Lyra Class Alpha, is known to have gone up to 3,000 feet below suggesting a maximum depth of up to 6,000 feet. Later classes, such as Project 945B Condor Sierra 2, can probably go at least that depth or even lower. The US DSRV 
which stands for Deep Submerged Rescue Vessel, built to rescue the survivors of sunken submarines, has a test depth of 5,000 feet, suggesting a maximum depth of 10,000 feet. Specifically designed submersibles, the U.S. Navy's Trieste in 1960 went to the bottom of the deepest place on Earth, the Challenger Deep of the Marina Trench, at 6.8 miles down or 36,000 feet below. Since that is the deepest point on Earth, there is technically no maximum crush depth. Number 6. How much food does a submarine carry? Modern American submarines feed crews three meals a day for the length of a submarine patrol, which could last weeks or even months without resupply. On fast attack subs, the food is lowered into the submarine at port hand, one box of groceries at a time. On ballistic missile submarines, food is lowered through the escape trunk, opening by a crane in aluminum modules measuring 6 feet by 5 feet long. A typical list of all packed food for a submarine trip includes 22,000 eggs, 800 pounds of butter, and 500 pounds of coffee. But due to space limitations, many items are baked abroad. There's a night baker's assigned to bake the bread needed for sandwiches and toast, along with dinner rolls, hamburger and hoagie buns, and all the pastries, including cakes and cookies. Number 5. Submarine crews typically work on an 18-hour day schedule. The hardest thing about living in submarines might be adjusting to the three six-hour segment routines the crew has to endure. Crew members get six hours for sleeping, six hours on watch, and six hours of free time. This kind of segmented schedule takes some adjusting to get used to. The US Navy may be waking up to something sleep experts have known for a long time. That people function best when they follow their natural sleep rhythms. Shedding new light on this issue is research from the Navy's laboratory in Connecticut which examined the Navy's practice of basing the work days of submarine sailors on 18 hours rather than the normal 24. This was put in place in the 1960s because the Navy felt the shorter on-duty shifts would limit fatigue. But this latest study, conducted at the Naval Submarine Medical Research Laboratory, found the shorter 6-hour sleep periods were having the opposite effect as sailors became fatigued every third cycle when they were working at times that their bodies should be sleeping. The researchers found that any fatigue that came from being on duty for 8 hours rather than 6 was more balanced out by longer 8 hour sleep periods. The thinking behind the 18 hour workday schedule was that it didn't really matter much when submarine sailors slept since there's no natural light aboard a sub to distinguish between day and night. The problem with this line of thinking, however, is that people's bodies still know what time it is, even when operating in isolated environments, such as a submarine at the bottom of the ocean. And when people try to sleep at times that are out of sync with their internal, biological clocks, or circadian rhythm, the quality of their sleep suffers as well. Number 4. The World's Fastest Submarine Soviet submarine K-162 was the world's fastest submarine, being the first submarine constructed with a titanium hull. The vessel set a record submerged speed of 44.7 knots, or about 52 miles per hour. Her unofficial maximum speed is unknown. However, the vessel's high speed came at a high price. It was expensive to construct, and the high speeds made excessive noise and caused significant damage to the hull. The sub was commonly referred to as Goldfish in reference to her cost of development and construction. Number 3. How often do submarines crash? It has been documented 
that there are two to three submarine related accidents per year. The most recent one was the ARA San Juan in 2017. The vessel was a TR-1700 class diesel electric in service with the Argentine Navy. The submarine was built in West Germany and entered service on the 19th of November in 1985. San Juan underwent a midlife update from 2008 to 2013. On November 15, 2017, San Juan stopped communicating during a routine patrol in the South Atlantic off the coast of Argentina. A multi-nation search operation was mounted to try and locate the submarine, which was believed to have suffered an electrical malfunction. Within hours of San Juan's last transmission, reports describe an acoustic anomaly consistent with an explosion detected in the vicinity of the vessel's last known location. On November 30th, hopes of rescuing the crew alive were abandoned. Just 15 days after San Juan went missing, the Navy declared the rescue part of the operation to be over, turning its attention to finding the submarine and not the crew. The loss of 44 crewmen constitutes the largest loss of life aboard a submarine since the Chinese submarine 361 sank in May of 2003. Number 2. The Most Luxurious Submarine Migaloo is the first submarine slash super yacht hybrid. Designed by Motion Code Blue, it is 115 meters long. One can find a swimming pool, cinema room, helipad, library, gym, laundry room, and luxurious private lounges all aboard. Named after the albino whale, Migaloo can go to a maximum depth of 240 meters below. Number 1. The Best Attack Submarines in the World the boats of the Sea Wolf class are the most advanced but also most expensive hunter-killer submarines in the world. These submarines were intended to restore the technological edge which the US Navy had enjoyed over the Soviets from 1945 until the mid-1980s when espionage and the cynical trading practices of the US allies somewhat eroded. The Sea Wolf class boats were intended to seek and destroy the latest Soviet ballistic missile submarines such as Typhoon classes and latest attack submarines such as the Akula class. Initially, 12 boats of the class were planned, however, these advanced submarines were too pricey even for the US to build and maintain on the post-Cold War era budget. Eventually, production was stopped with only three Sea Wolf class submarines actually built. All of these boats are currently in service. The US Navy switched to much cheaper designs of the Virginia class attack submarines. The Sea Wolf class are arguably the quietest submarines in the world ever constructed. It is exceptionally quiet even at high speeds. Most submarines need to keep their speed down as little as 5 knots to avoid detection by passive sonar rays, while the Sea Wolf class are credited with being able to cruise at 20 knots and still be impossible to locate. A Sea Wolf at 25 knots makes less noise than older Los Angeles class submarines tied alongside the pier. These boats can operate at greater depths than existing US submarines and can also operate under polar ice caps. Also, these are faster than almost any other submarine to have ever existed. These submarines have eight. 660 millimeter torpedo tubes. 
These tubes are used to launch MK-48 torpedoes and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles. Torpedo tubes are also used to launch Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles with a range of up to 1700 kilometers. A mix of 50 torpedoes, sub-harpoons, and tomahawks can be carried. 